should you play Limbus Company? If you want my short and biased answer, then yes, you should. But if you guys are still not sure, then this video is going to be for you. Limbus Company is developed by an indie developer named Project Moon. Well, it used to be indie at least. I don't know the sheer size of the company right now, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty big. Other Project Moon's works are Lobotomy Corporation and Library of Ruina. Limbus Company as their newest game serve as the third installment of the series. Yes, all of the games are interconnected by some means, so should you play the previous game before you actually play Limbus Company? Now, since I didn't play Lobotomy Corporation, I would say that playing Library of Ruina without the knowledge of Lobotomy Corporation is fine. I still enjoyed the game, even though you didn't understand some characters at first and some of the world settings. But the games are not a direct sequel, it's more of like each game takes place after another. It's still in the same universe but follows a different story and takes place on the aftermath of the previous game. But don't get me wrong here, the previous game character are still the same as the next game character, but it's just kind of different. They are kind of like a different character. Well, if you want the lore, you just, you should probably watch another video, not my, my video, but yeah, so short answer, no, you don't have to play the previous game. Some people will insist that you have to play the previous game, but for me, just try Limbus Company first. If you like the story, lore and setting, play the previous game, all right? Easy as that. Limbus Company is actually the first gacha game that Project Moon developed, Library of Ruina, and Lobotomy Corporation doesn't have any gacha in it. This could be the downside and upside of this game. Some of you will think that Project Moon could mismanage the game and turn the game into a cash grab and die after a year. But if you think the other way around, Project Moon's previous game was never really a cash grab. I mean, they could easily made Library of Ruina into a cash grab gacha game, but they didn't. And maybe, just maybe, they make Limbus Company so that more people can enjoy the game for free. And of course, they need some sort of income, so they made the game a gacha. So more of like a game with gacha slapped onto it, just like another Eden. If you ever played that game before, it's basically a JRPG slapped with gacha. And yeah, it's made by Right Flyer Studios. That, that developer is really great, guys. If you haven't played another Eden, and I recommend you guys to try and read Eden. They also have another uh, game that they made. It's really good. It's called Heaven Burns Red. It's still on Japanese right now. But yeah, if you are, if you have the time and if you are willing to translate the game, it's such a good game. But yeah, back to Limbus Company. Seeing how their gacha system work, I highly doubt that this game will become a cash grab and die after a year kind of game. If you want to know more on how the gacha operates in this game, I recommend you guys to watch my previous video that talks about Limbus Company gacha system. Limbus Company in terms of lore is probably one of the most intricate for a gacha game out there. The game has a total of 12 sinners or characters and each of these sinners are actually representing a book in real life. Kind of like Bungo Stray Dogs if you ever watched that anime before. There's this video talking about each characters are connected to which book. Kinda interesting to be honest with you. And not to mention the sheer size of lore that Library of Ruina and Lobotomy Corp has. So if you're a lore junkie, maybe you will like this game. In terms of combat mechanics, this game offers a quite complex combat mechanics. At the surface level, you will just connect coins with chains for your character to attack, but it's actually more than that. You see, each coin in this game are actually skills that will have a domino effect on the next skill that will be used. And there's way more than just the skills in this game. There's tiger system, clash system that you can use to cancel the enemy's attack, it's a really interesting combat while most of the other gacha game in the market right now are just blatant like hack and slash, shooting and random skill usage turn based kind of combat. But yeah, Limbus Company probably is going to be one of the best gacha game to be released this year. I can't recommend you guys enough to give this game a try. But yeah, that's all I guess. Have a nice day and keep playing gacha games guys.